Crystal is starving. Uh, she cannot answer the phone. Sorry, you're gonna have to take a message. Hi there, my name's Sam, and uh, I'm back here again <laughs> after a short hiatus of sorts. I don't really know what to say about it other than sometimes, you know, The Sims, it's nice to take a break from it and everything. Um, I played lots of other interesting games while I was away, but uh, I'm interested in getting back into The Sims right now. And we are here in Strange View. Uh, I'm really eager to play this family. In, uh, this is the Curious family, so we're kind of starting our Strange Town leg of the round, even though eventually we kind of hop back and forth at the end of the round because of all the kids that have kind of moved around in all the different places. But uh, as you can probably tell, this is not the uh, original Curious House. It has been sort of made over. And by the time I have um, uploaded this video, I will have also uploaded a downloadable version of this house. Now the version I have uh, available for download is just a little bit different because I set it up for um, like the beginning of this household, if that makes sense. Like if you were just starting this household, so I kind of left everything in a more traditional way. Um, whereas like with this household, we now have Crystal Vu and two babies. So I've had to make some alterations to like the bedrooms and stuff. But the original is like the original boys' rooms plus uh, like one baby crib and stuff like that. But yeah, I've had some fun uh, doing it. And it's mostly um, pretty much all Maxis objects with the exception of a handful of uh, sort of Maxis match custom objects, which I uh, chose to be a little more liberal in this household with than the others just because I, this is my favorite household. And so I wanted to... Uh, have some fun with it but as you can see we have some I can do a little tour of the house here we have a feral a feral toddler wandering outside Uh oh okay we didn't see that that didn't happen um, I like these colored windows uh, there's also a nudity mosaic happening inside and we're gonna address that in a moment <laughs> things are already happening um, but yeah so I kind of put some cool stuff out here uh, we have this fun little tea table, which I love and I don't use enough, and I just kind of threw it up there. I felt like one of these boys would be kind of eccentric enough to have to have like a proper traditional tea table. And then, of course, uh, Laszlo's uh, hookah moment here. We've still got the, um, the uh, telescopes in the same sort of places. Um, one thing I did, though, was I did introduce uh, elevators. But that would be kind of a fun way to do it. I kind of just broke up the... Rather than the kind of the ugly regular stairway system, I kind of did an elevator moment, and this elevator does go down into the kitchen. So we'll go all the way down here. So this is our uh, kitchen entrance here, and I did in the downloadable version. I did leave the the pizza. I did of course make this house um, originally in a clean, empty version of Strange Town. And but it um, even the clean empty version still included the pizza, so I thought that was important. <laughs> so that's hopefully that stuff stays there and everything for like the download. I think it does. Um, but yeah, we have kind of a overall a very eccentric, uh, funky little um, setup. I always like to think of it as the boys bought a you know a lab and then they decorated it themselves, and so it's kind of a mess. We have this uh, fantastic TV setup here. Got some some of their little knickknack and toys hidden everywhere. Um, I put kind of put this here just to fill space, kind of for them to have drinks. They can use it like this, so that's you know that works. I did turn this room in, instead of it used to be a chess room, but right now it's a uh, an extra bathroom, which usually is pretty needed in this household. Um, we have Vidkin's got a very complete little greenhouse here, which I like kind of giving him that. Looks like he started his his little plants. I can tell him to tend that. Um, I have this fun little object. I thought this would be kind of neat to introduce. Um, I don't know if maybe it would be Vidkind, who is more of an outdoor kind of, or not really an outdoor sim, but a plant sim, and maybe he would, uh, or not a plant sim, a gardening sim. I don't know if he may enjoy being zen and thinking about his scientific things while he's doing a little zen project or something. Again, it seemed like a, a fun little 
extra quirky thing for um, them to have. We also have a little alien dude chilling on the stairway here, or the bridge. Um, then we have another little um, bathroom set up. I did tuck this under here, but I don't think it works there. I'll have to pull it out to use it, but for now I just kind of tucked it out of the way. Um, and then I kind of gave each of the rooms their theme. Of course, this is Vidkin's room. Again, he's very into plants and into... We have his little, um, he has like a little ant farm here, some decorative science things, and it's very, very clean and modern, and that kind of feels like him. Then we have this room, of course, normally would be Pascal's room. Um, if you haven't watched the, earlier in the series, unfortunately we lost Pascal to childbirth. So uh, when little Tycho was born, or not Z Tycho, Zazma, it ended up not being Tycho because it was a girl. I think that's what happened. Anyway, Zazma was born. And uh, uh, Pascal died, which we're working on getting Laszlo to be able to get high enough in the paranormal career so that he can, um, I almost said reinvent Pascal. <laughs> um, what's the word? Resurrect Pascal. And so we have kind of, this room originally was obviously supposed to be Pascal's room, but it's become the baby room. Hopefully one day it will once again become Pascal's room. Then we have... Um, an extended version of Laszlo's room. Now, like I said, in the uh, like downloadable version, I made it a, I left it the same size as the original. It's just got his single bed and everything. But I've uh, expanded it because we have Crystal. Now, him and Crystal ended up getting married. While, uh, yes, they are married. While uh, we had story progression going on in the game. So that happened. I believe also I have it noted that during story progression, we got a message that Laszlo had become alien pregnant. So that's, uh, that's yet. He is not showing yet, so hopefully that nothing went wrong with that and he is still, in fact, uh, doing that. And, uh, currently this is happening, so who knows, who knows, maybe Crystal and Laszlo will be pregnant at the same time. <laughs> that would be kind of fun. Um, but yeah, generally he's got a little bit messier, kind of funky room here. He's, he's got, he, he likes growing mushrooms. And he's got his, his junk everywhere. So that's pretty much, I think that's pretty much everything. We've got like this little moment here with it. We do have a chess table. And there's little like decorations. And I think, I think the only other thing I wanted to mention was, and I, I assume this happened while we were also away and during the time of story progression. Once again, story progression did a lot <laughs> off the screen, um, which... I no longer have story progression in, of course, but uh, I noticed he's at level five in the paranormal career, which I don't remember if he was quite that high, but according to the internet, level five is when he is able to purchase the uh, the career reward. However, it does not seem to be right here is the resurrect anomatron, and it doesn't it shows as not available. So I'm wondering if it's like he has to go to work once for it to kind of register before the game kind of kicks in, or if maybe he needs to get another promotion before it will do it. I don't know. So we may be very close to um, getting Pascal back. This probably this round, hopefully. And if like I get another promotion and, or if I get him to get another promotion and it doesn't unlock, I'll probably just kind of cheat it and say it should have, because like I said, all the guides on the internet say like level five is when you should be able to get it for this particular career. But anyway, we have, this is also our, our little yellow baby. We ended up with a weird yellow baby because I had some screwy custom skins. Um, but so her name is Nova and she is Vidkin's baby, if I recall correctly. Yes, Vidkin's baby. And then, yeah, we have Zazma, who is a toddler. She's kind of got a fun little outfit on. She's just got, like, a cozy little shirt. Um, follow Crystal. Um, I, um, I, <laughs> I would, I, can, can somebody, can you call over, call over the baby, Vidkind. Call over the baby. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, the baby's here. Okay, the baby got out of there. Just in time. Oh, somebody's gotta go to work. You need to stop, sir. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, okay, yes, I think they're- <laughs> I think we're gonna end up with a double baby situation. 
What do you do, Crystal? Oh, you're a lab assistant. I didn't know she was in science. Also, last time we kind of saw this crew, I think it was when we were actually playing the Smith family, and they got invited over because, of course, there's some relation, uh, like family connections between the Smiths and the Curious household. And we saw a lot of weird, like, Laszlo would flirt with Crystal, and then Vidkin would flirt with her, and they would all be, like, okay with it, and it was, like, kind of weird. So I'm curious if we'll see any of that in playing them. I assume we would. It'll be just be interesting, but if these two are so strongly connected and now married, I don't know if they'll kind of be just so distracted with each other that Vidkin won't get any, any time. <laughs> How about Laszlo teaches the baby to walk for right now? Also, Vidkin, Vid, uh, Laszlo wants Vidkin to meet aliens. Does Vidkin want to meet aliens? He has relative meets aliens. Oh. Okay. Was that, was that it? Are we done now? Okay, apparently we're done now. How about, how about Crystal teaches her to walk instead? Can, can somebody teach the child and not give up on the child? <laughs> Please. Please and thank you. This one's getting a little yellow. <laughs> and I don't mean her skin. I'm happy to have Crystal here. I feel like I never get to really play her so much. The phone is ringing. Who is calling? There we go. Oh, did she She learn to walk? Cool. I'm gonna lock in and learn to talk now. Oh. You're a spring and should decorate accordingly if you want to live most harmoniously in your house. I don't know what that means, mystery person. Mystery sim. Thank you, though. What time do you work? Oh, you go at 4 p.m. When does Vidkin come back? 6 p.m. So that might be an issue. Because this guy leaves at 5 p.m. She leaves at 4 p.m. But Vidkin's not back till 6. He's gonna, it's going to be like an awkward nanny for one hour. <laughs> okay. If only Mr. Pascal was here to fill in the blanks. Hello, sir. Oh, yeah. Also... Pascal's grave is right here, and um, these stones are around it. <laughs> I I don't know. I think they're probably trying to uh, communicate with the aliens in some way. That's the assumption. Usually that's how things are with this household, so. What is her, like, lifetime wish? Ah, she wants to get to the top of the education career as a lifetime want. Maybe I could change her job to that. That might be more interesting than just having her be in the science career, too. Where's let's find a job? Let's look and see if there's any artist career. That looks like that would be something for her, too, but not quite what she's looking for. Maybe maybe Crystal could quit her science job. Criminal career? Nope. Until she finds... Um, until she finds her, her dream job, and that would make it so she's kind of available to be here for the uh, mass influx of spawn that we'll be dealing with very soon. Where is the, the phone? Call work. I'm gonna have her quit. Even though she's a, she's a fortune sim, so she probably won't like that, but that's okay. Yes. Okay. So... Uh, yeah, if you could do a little cleaning up, ma'am. Are you gonna- you're not gonna try to eat that. Okay, you're gonna try to eat that. Please, please don't do that. Let's clean some of this up. Maybe we can- we can order a fresh pizza. Okay, um, how about, um, isn't there more baby toys here? Yeah. Play with some toys and not the toilet. Toys, not toilet. That's- that's what we need here. Oh, okay. Laszlo went off to work. So we'll have to see if he comes back and, uh, does a gets the ability to um, unlock his career reward? Oh, Nova's almost ready to age up. Also, um, her hunger and energy are dropping like crazy, and we did see her acting not. Oh, the baby! I think this child is aging up right now. <laughs> um. Okay. Okay. Well. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> There's a lot to take in here. Hold on. <laughs> that was a that's a choice of attire. Yeah, we're gonna just you know 
maybe do a quick little makeover here. Like her hair, her forehead is kind of goofing into her hair. Let's change everything. Okay, the child is very tired. I attempted to sort of improve the appearance. Uh, there's not a lot I can do while there's like a weird lighting going on on her face right now. Um, <laughs> she's, she's unique. <laughs> she's a unique child. I did, I did the best I could. She's very tired. Oh crap, that's right. I'm gonna get her a bed. Where should I put the darn bed? I'm gonna have to like expand another level eventually, I think. There we go. Now she's got a bed. Who are you talking to? Laszlo available. That's one of the curious girls. We we're a little busy here. We got some chaos happening. Also, Laszlo's at work. Oh, and Vidkin's home. I'm curious to see what uh little Vid this child who uh, has currently got bugs flying around her. Can we fix that? Can we maybe fix that a little? Can the babies be washed in the oh yeah, they can be washed in the sink. Uh, maybe we'll do it in the sink. Ooh, there's a sound of Vidkin peeing, like, directly in my ear, and it's very uncomfortable. <laughs> but yeah, I wonder what the baby, this little baby's gonna look like. Also, like, this baby would have been made, I assume, with one of the different, like, pollination technicians that I have in the game. Whereas maybe, like, Zosma is, like, just the OG pollination technician. I don't know. Put the baby in the crib and go to sleep because you're gonna die. Oh, Vidkin wants to stargaze. <laughs> should should Mr. Should Mr. Vidkin go uh, take the chance of a stargaze? Let's search for constellations? I don't know. No, we'll just do classic stargaze. Just to be safe. Crystal is starving. Uh, she cannot answer the phone. Sorry. You're gonna have to take a message. Oh my gosh, his phone will not shut the heck up. Okay, she's answering. Also, uh, two things that I just sort of realized slash remembered. Who are we talking to? Uh, I don't know who the heck that is. Who is this? Oh. You are simply the coolest sim I've met in ages. Reputation. Want to go downtown? No, thank you. Um, one, I noticed they have a lot of money, which I think maybe had to do with, like, moving them in and out of, like, the old house, plopping this one down, moving them in. I don't know. If I, if I really care that they have a lot of money. Uh, but secondly, I forgot to mention that I did remove the um, seven day seasons mod. So it's back to a default just because I felt like I wanted to progress a little bit faster in the rounds and not have, because I was getting to the point where I had like three episodes per household and it felt like too much. I kind of like knocking them out in like two episodes ish. So. And I know that kind of offsets some, like, days played with certain families, and it was already kind of like that because I had added the mod a couple of families into the round anyway, so. But I'm not worried about it, but. Anyway. So we're gonna get Ms. Crystal to go to bed here. Uh, everybody seems to be quiet and behaving themselves. Where's Vidkin? Oh, that's right. Vidkin's up on the roof still. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe we'll- Last thing we need is another little alien baby, honestly. Oh no! <laughs> it's Pascal! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's Pascal! <laughs> and of course, the thing is, is he died- Also, his hair's looking kind of funky. He died when I had, like, other custom content in the game than I do now, so... I don't know what's going on right here with this- I mean, this outfit's kind of, I think, what I remember him being in, but not quite. Anyway, this is Pascal, right? I'm not- yep, yeah, it's Pascal. Okay. Alright. He just- he's got like a face, a grimace that's stuck on his face. Can we go talk to Pascal? No. I suppose it's a good sign that he's floating around here because I had to put him into one of his brother's inventory when I like moved them out and then moved him back into this- oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Pascal, don't do this to us. <laughs> They don't play these games. Not the the choking. He's out here reenacting his death on the front lawn. Well, Pascal, is this necessary? Is this necessary, sir? Also, why is there just like a can of orange soda sitting here? That maybe that's it. They're offering to him. <laughs> that was Laszlo's offering to Pascal. Is a, a half drinking can of of soda. 
Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, it's a good good sign that he's like actively here and is like a valid dead ghost guy. Because I was worried about anything that happens when I'm kind of moving it between technically to like a new lot, even though it's in the same place as the old lot. Anyway. Oh, okay, we're now we're dying over here. I'm really, really excited to get uh, this guy back home. He's going to be home soon. And see if his uh, his reward has become valid. Um, oh, and we have a skunk. The skunk seems to be spawning very often on my lots. I was playing some personal Sims 2 games. And the skunk was coming, like, constantly. So I don't really know what's going on with that exactly. But anyway, you're smelly, Lazlo. Let's go inside before you get traumatized by your brother's ghost. Although you are a knowledge sim, so you might like that. Might be into that kind of thing. Oh, he pooped. He popped. <laughs> he didn't he didn't poop, he popped. Let's see, what's what do we got going on? No. Why that's weird. I think I'm gonna try to get him a promotion. We're gonna focus he just needs one creativity skill point. Do we have any instruments or anything floating around? I think we need like a little guitar. Seems like this place could use a little guitar action. Just plop that right here. All right, bud. I think you need to go to sleep. No, you don't need to play video games. You're tired. Sugar. Oh my gosh, you're also tired. Why are you even awake? Go to sleep. And you're also hungry. What happened to the food you were cooking? And where's Vidkins? He's over here. I think you need to go to bed now, dude. Everybody go to bed. Go to sleep. Oh God, okay. What is happening? Okay, you're putting the... I got worried. So, Zazma woke up early, very early, and was having something to eat. She went and threw it away out here while her her dead father is floating around in the lawn. I was afraid there was going to be a traumatic moment. I don't think she actually recognized or saw him. Doesn't look like it. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. No, I need you to go here. Yes. You're going to, like, starve to death. The child is unhappy. You know what, Vidkind? This is your child, and you need to to uh, take care of it. Okay, so who's who's puking? I hear. A, oh boy. Okay. The so whatever she just ate just went right down the toilet. <laughs> this is not going well. She didn't even finish her toast. Come back out here and finish eating. <laughs> You're gonna die. You're gonna die, and it's gonna be all your fault because you wouldn't finish your pop tart. But unfortunately, it seems like maybe Laszlo isn't pregnant or maybe he's just not getting morning sickness what are you doing you think right now is the best time for this okay well she did not get to eat before she ran off to school that is unfortunate you just got all these bowls of cereal sitting here getting soggy she should be she should be close to aging up soon laszlo just finger gunned the baby so we're doing good so far <laughs> Things are things are normal. Oh, Vidkin's gonna be off to work, and Laszlo needs to work on his uh, creativity. Even though he doesn't want to, I'm choosing to because I need to try and get him to his uh, to resurrect his brother. He's almost to his skill point. There we go. All right, I need you to pay some bills, bud, because. Uh, Crystal didn't quite make it. She's struggling out here. Oh, Zuzma brought home a friend today. What did she bring home? I don't... Let's see. Is that an... It looks like an Otomus kid. Oh, yeah. That's an Otomus kid. <laughs> That's one of the Otomuses. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. All the Bin families, I believe... I put most of them, some of them as like townies, some of the kids, and then I think some of the, some of them I might have just killed off. I don't even remember. It's been, feels like it's been forever. Oh crap, he's gonna go off to work. His hygiene and everything is awful. That's not gonna be good for um, his progress in the career. Okay, the child is on, okay. The children are not being supervised. This one's playing with darts. <laughs> this one's playing with darts, and this one's on the, the bubbler. <laughs> okay, how about we both play darts instead, so we can gain a little friendship here, possibly. In a way, these two are quite the, the appropriate pair, facially. They have a lot in common. 
We won't say exactly what that is, but <laughs> there's a lot. You know, they're unique. They're unique. I quite like- I actually really like the Automus family and their goofy kids. I think they're fun. It'd be kind of fun if these two could, like, become buddies and then I could kind of age Dorothy up with her and they could be, like, friends. We could have, like, her go to college with, with Zazma or something. That'd be fun. Get them good, strong Automus genes in the, the the gene pool. In the town gene pool. Oh. There we go. Baby's aging up. Oh. Oh yeah, we see- you can see the Vidkin dinner. Yeah, let me fix her hair. For now, I gave her a little choppy shortcut. Let's get a little f oh, oh my. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> yeah, I don't- I don't know how I feel about this one. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this one. <laughs> you can see the Vidkin real strong. Yeah, the, the brown hair with yellow skin is a- is a choice. Is a is a genetic thing that has happened. Oh my god, this child is running. Oh, Vidkind is home. Where are you yelling at, Vidkind? Rodney. Why are you yelling at Rodney? Oh, okay, Vidkind. Just because you're a little sleepy doesn't mean you can take it out on everybody around you. This one is just going to town with all the things. Oh, we got oh we got a little stool. We're gonna look through her through a telescope. Of course. Alright. Well a little uh a little Dorothy Autumnus is enjoying a, a nice cup of traditional tea here. Oh boy, I hear a ghost. <laughs> oh no. Zazma's just up there doing her business while her her father is, is down here going through it. Why can't he just be a chill little happy ghost? Alright, Crystal's gonna come join Dorothy Otimus at the uh, tea table. <laughs> oh, he's in the house. I didn't realize he- he hasn't- he mostly was hanging out in the yard, but Pascal came in the house. Buddy, I'm gonna have you wake up and do a little repair. Do a little repairman moment. Can't believe how late it is. I should be getting home. Oh no. I'm- I'm like, there's gonna be a- oh god. <laughs> it's- it's Crystal? No, Crystal's not available right now. Pascal's just vibing. Where are you going, Pascal? Okay. <laughs> this is a creepy little screenshot. Okay, this is, we're having a party in the bathroom. Midkin's screaming at the shower. Nova's in a bear suit. Flopping around in the water. <laughs> it's going good. Oh no! <gasps> she reacted to seeing a ghost! Oh no, saw ghost of Pascal. Oh no, she recognized it was her father's ghost. Who are you? Tansy. Hello, Tansy. Where did you come from, Tansy? Who, did you come home with Vidkind or something? Oh, there he comes. Yeah, we got a, okay, we got a promotion. Let's see if that gave us, damn it. Huh, that's too bad. I wonder if because of story progression you didn't, like, recognize it? Hmm. Well, uh, I think I'm gonna stop this episode here for now. We've had quite a good good little running start with this family. There's, there's enough sims that it's like, there's constantly somebody doing something right now. <laughs> um, I think that next time, because we, we got our promotion, I'm gonna double check online that it was in fact like level 5 that he was supposed to get this reward object. I think I'm going to use the cheat that unlocks it and enables me to buy it because I think at this point he's gained it. He's got all his skills. He's, you know, he's earned it. So, so next time we might be uh, successfully giving this guy another chance and uh, he won't have to be floating around reenacting his death a hundred times over. That'll be good. Also this grimace is a lot. I mean, at least he's a nice little green color. <laughs> Seems appropriate for him. But, uh, yeah. I guess that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.